Hey everyone, KJ4YZI here. And uh, another day I get to sit home, day off, Labor Day weekend. Want to play a little bit HF radio and figured I'd share another little five minute fun fact on the new 7300 I have, which I've had for a couple months now and really haven't used it. In fact, for my fans who graciously emailed and commented and said, Eric, take the screen protector off. Here you go, guys. We'll do it together. All right. I love the screen protector, or I love the screen, and I wanted to keep it as pristine as possible. So let's look at the RTTY uh, operation of the 7300 in a quick video. So up here, when you go into the modes, you know, normally you're probably on upper sideband or lower sideband and some radios you'll be on data mode or you'll be on sideband when you're communicating on digital modes like RTTY and such but here you want to choose RTTY okay and then that's going to give you the option in the menu for decode right here and once you hit decode it's going to open up the decode screen in the bottom you'll get a little little pan adapter in the bottom corner here and that'll show you the the width of the signal there and you kind of tune and line up the two little arrows or two little lines there if I could zoom in you see the two little lines and you see the signal drawing on the waterfall there you want to kind of line that up and then you'll see on there it's decoding um, now RTTY nowadays is uh, a lot of people just contesting their uh, you know, putting out their call, their grid, their signal in 7.3, almost like FT8 at a really fast pace. But uh, anyways, so there's some cool features on this here. Um, what you can do, I'll zoom this out a little bit, all right. Now you can go into, uh, you can, first of all, you can hold. If you see a message on there and you don't want to lose it, because what you'll notice is if there's no signal, we'll go like this, you're going to see characters building. And that's because of the white noise. It's kind of just uh, confused. It just hears the white noise and it's just drawing it as letters and numbers. So, oh, I just landed on that guy. So, uh, so anyways, you can click hold and that'll hold the message that's on the screen. Uh, so you don't lose it with the other characters of the white noise. Now, <clears throat> let's find a station here again. You can clear the screen, hold and clear. There you go. I'll zoom in so you can see that. All right, so let's say you wanted to send a message back or you wanted to reply. And I will turn this down a little bit. So you can click on uh, transmit memories. Now there's memories here that you can edit from the front screen and you can transmit those back, for instance. I'll edit number one here. So let's clear all this and I'll put in um, CQ, CQ, KJ4, YZI. Enter. Okay, that's my first one there. Now right, watch this. Now I'm transmitting right there as like a macro. Let's see if he responds. No, he's too busy going too fast. Anyway, so you get the idea. Uh, macros on there where you can uh, edit these to uh, different ones like uh, I wish I had a three element tri-bander <laughs> from the factory there. But anyways, you get the idea. Um, so pretty neat stuff. Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, so you can expand that. That's even better. Look at that. And let's see if I hold on it. Okay. <clears throat> you have some uh, decoding options here that you can edit two pages, the waveform color, font color, etc. So all the settings right in here. That's pretty neat. Let me just go like this. I like having the waterfall up top, so I'm going to go like this. Band conditions are get are dead, guys. Remember that. Here. Bands are dead. So far, we've seen two 
DX stations on Ridley. Nine Alpha, One Alpha, and the uh, yeah, bands are dead. Echo Alpha, 3 Alpha, Yankee, Quebec. Echo Alpha, 3 Alpha, Yankee, Quebec. So there's like three or four DX stations I've already seen. Bands are dead, guys. Anyway. <laughs> Get out there and call CQ, would you? My 7300 here. So just wanted to point out a cool little uh, option here for the 7300 that I'll be utilizing if I wanted to not even talk if I wanted to just check out you know what they're saying and, and check it out uh, myself I would prefer um, digital master 780 or uh, that's probably what I would use uh, for RTTY that's what I normally use but for people that want to use this in contest situations or, or not looking to rag chew the keyboard they just want to throw out a couple contacts and make some grid squares it's right here uh, so that is, uh, oh, look, we have another menu. Look at this, log. So you can, uh, okay, I don't have an SD card in there for log. Uh, you adjust the threshold there. Okay, so uh, there's your RTTY options on the 7300 and 73 from KJ4YZI.